slide back with another video. I'm reckless. Hi, Chris. We got did Lil Dirk already slide. You know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to keep up with all this. Um, you know what I'm saying? All the beef and all this shit. Yeah, um, it's a lot. yeah it really is. Well, we about to see. You know what I'm saying? We about to see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And and, and you know what I'm saying? Get into it, it, trying to get better with this shit because I be lost. You know what I'm saying? I I did ass be lost. Um, yeah. With all this shit, but you know what I'm saying? We getting better. Make sure I hit the like button, subscribe, and let's get in the video. Trap more gang, we're back with another video, and today we are going to be looking at a secret story surrounding possibly one of your favorite rappers, who, if Reddit is anything to go by, is very much still in these streets. I'm of course talking about everybody's favorite Chicago drill legend, Lil Durk. He has truly gone from rags to riches, the slums of Chicago, to the very top of the music industry. Number one albums, hit songs with Drizzy Drake, and a- How this nigga know them more than we do? Yeah, the very top of the music industry, number one albums, hit songs with Drizzy Drake, and apparently unlimited Richard Millies. Lil Durk is one of the most successful rappers in the game right now, but that doesn't mean it has been an easy journey for him. Oh no, people. In fact, if you've been following my channel for quite some time, you'll know that Lil Durk's road to the top was not easy. Because Lil Durk's road to the top has been paved with tragedy after tragedy. He has lost no less than 30 friends to the streets in the course of his come up. In fact, so many people close to Lil Durk lost their lives during his come up that many people believe that he is actually cursed, a theory which I broke down at length in my video on the dead curse that Lil Durk can't escape. Go and watch that if you want some extra background. What do you want to this nigga? Is, the tragic reaction. losses that Lil Durk endured on his road to the top didn't seem to end. And even whilst dominating the rap game, Lil Durk unfortunately has suffered numerous personal tragedies during the peak of his career. I'm sure you'll be painfully aware that in November of 2020, Lil Durk's day one homie from O Block, King Von, tragically lost his life in a shooting outside of an Atlanta nightclub. Durk was so close to Von that he would regularly call himself Von's twin. Or if the crime that they were accused of whilst Von was alive or anything to go by, then perhaps Evil Twin is a more appropriate title. But that wasn't the only major loss that Lil Durk endured during his glory years at the top of the rap game. Because in June 2021, Lil Durk's own blood brother D Thang would also end up losing his life in yet another senseless shooting outside of a nightclub. Now, this is Club O in Chicago where Lil Durk's brother D Thang allegedly lost his life. And I'm not going to lie to you, I don't think I would try my chances at a party in Club O, frankly. It looks a bit scary. Apparently, oh multiple God. shots were fired from multiple. <laughs> multiple weapons after an altercation where even a police officer was hit in the thigh and the unfortunate ending being Lil Durk's 32 year old brother being shot in the head and losing his life. In the aftermath of D Thang's death, a lot of internet detectives over on Reddit Chiracology took to their keyboards to give their opinion on the most recent life lost to Chicago's gang violence. RIP to him, someone with that much status should not be caught clubbing in Chicago unless it's when they're doing a show. No disrespect, but being at Club O is nasty as F for Dirk to be dropping the biggest album of his career and his brother is kicking it at a hood ass strip club is wild. Harvey is the hood. That area is kind of industrial, but it's still the hood. Can't believe that he was there. I seen a bitch give birth at Club O on the dance floor. A very Man, sad story, no. but perhaps even sadder than the many- Nigga, why was she there? Losses that Lil Durk has been forced to suffer during his career are the trolls that crawl out of the woodwork to mock Lil Durk when he's going through one of his darkest moments. Not long after King Von lost his life, in response to a post on Instagram where Lil Durk mourned the loss of his musical twin King Von, 6 9 jumped in with the offensive reply, referring also to Lil Durk's deceased cousin Nooski, saying, Nooski, now Von, and you still rapping? Go pick up a gun. But if you thought that Damn. was bad, in the aftermath of Durk's that. own blood brother losing his life, 6 9 I have this to say. Time to smoke a new pack. It's like every week. I didn't even finish enjoying smoking Von yet. You're dying trouble. too fast. Even going as far Hell as no. to comment on one of Academics' pages, quoting a little Dirk lyric, saying, tell the truth about your gang, man, you really dying. And he would even go as far as to repeat lyrics from King Von's collaboration track with Fabio Foreign, where King Von says, if he should die, I'm boosting the murder rate because my brother's gone slide every day. With 6 9 frequently bringing up these lyrics where King Von claimed that if anybody killed him, his crew would relentlessly stalk his killers, questioning why Lil Durk has not avenged his friends. King Von said, when I die, my niggas is gonna slide every day. Cat, nigga. That shit is cat. Who slid for King Von yet? That nigga rest in fucking piss, nigga. Yeesh. Basically, 6 9 started a trend of people on the internet questioning when, oh when, is Lil Durk- Shit, that nigga talking like he did it. 
gonna slide. And it's not just 6 9 this trend went far beyond our favourite cheese gobbler, with sort of funny memes circulating anytime anything to do with slides is in the media, like this meme that was going around suggesting that Lil Durk was gonna get himself an Android phone after Apple announced that there was going to be a new slide emoji on iPhones, because apparently he doesn't slide. But ladies and gentlemen, clearly these comments were getting to Lil Durk himself, who rapped on the remix of Nardo Wix Who Wants Smoke. They be on my page like slide for Vaughn, I know they trolling me. But people, if you pay close attention to Lil Durk's next few lyrics, you might be led to believe oh. that he is in fact been sliding okay. all along. Okay. As Lil Durk says, got it back in blood, you just don't know, that's how it's supposed to be. Durk is suggesting that he has already got get back, but it has been kept a nice tidy little secret. But people, with a little bit of Google research, we are able to dig a little bit deeper and get some background information on this supposed get back. But before we get to that, this isn't the only Lil Durk lyric where he's- <laughs> You know what I just thought about? Apple damn near instigating a lot of shit. I've been hearing Apple a lot. Yeah. Seems to suggest on, that he is in fact on? on get backs, that he is sliding, and that he has delivered pain to his ops. On his recent track, Pissed Me Off, a track that is a tribute to his brother D Thang and King Von, Dirk says a number of things that could be construed as accepting the fact that he has either indeed gotten get back or that he's going to. He says right at the start of the song, You ain't get back for your mans, you in the club like he ain't dead. Now, you wouldn't say that if you hadn't got back for your mans, frankly. He says in the song, Grab a gun. If you ain't with it, put up money for a gun, so he's saying you should get get back, grab yourself a gun, and if you're not trying to shoot, at least put up the money for a gun. And then he goes further, put up money for a hot car, stolen car, and put up money for a bond, so to bail out the shooter once they've done the work. He says he's got killers that he loves and they don't rap. He says if I die, just don't lie, man you better slide, and if you can't get the main one, then you better get his guys. You he better. says Phonum slides the next day, this cannot die saying, down, better. but at least he ends the song with a little bit of plausible <laughs> deniability to keep the feds off his back, saying in reference to the switches on the back of his glocks, you know that's just for the Instagram, I keep my distance. But that wasn't the only seminar in self-incrimination from Lil Durk, oh no, because he went further in his recent song, Aha, a track responding to recent disses from NBA Youngboy's crew. Durk opens the track with the lyrics, don't respond to shit with Von, I'm like, fuck it, you're tripping, go get your gun. They drop in locations, I'm getting it done, fuck tweeting, we sliding, and the feds will come. Durk is saying outright, they're sliding. They're sliding. He's, he says they're sliding. He's admitting they're sliding. He wants well, you to know that they're sliding. And, you know, that's how it is. Verse 1, Make he says, fun. we've been sliding through their blocks and they don't know we have. He says he's been sliding and nobody knows. He says, buddy ass got shot. We ain't claim it, but I can show his ass. But he goes even further. He says, my brother d -thang just got killed and I've been slow since, but we got back on they ass. I bet they know this. He's literally just saying outright, my brother got killed, but we got back. He says they got back. He says they slid. And on bro, I'm speaking facts, this ain't no diss. Keep the police out my business, we don't post shit. He's saying we got back, we slid, and I'm speaking facts. This isn't a diss, I'm speaking factual information that we done get backs. Keep the police out my business, we're not going to post the get backs, but I assure you, lyrically, as he says, I'm speaking facts, we got back on they ass. He ends the verse <laughs> by saying, they're like Dirk, his ass a singer, he won't smoke shit. He's basically doing like 6 9 impression. He's saying, oh, people think Lil Dirk's a singer, he won't smoke anyone. And he says, you can believe whatever oh, yeah. you want, I got your folks here. He's saying, believe that, but we did the hit. So, what are these getbacks that Lil Durk is supposedly claiming? Quando Rondo is, of course, the man that King Von was trying to fight on the night that he was killed, ultimately being shot dead by a man in Quando Rondo's entourage named Lil Tim. Back in yeah, May 2021, yeah. Quando Rondo played a show in Georgia to a very small crowd, a Smoke Perp esque performance. But respect to Quando Rondo for still getting on the stage knowing that half of Chicago wants to kill him, and him and his crew would be seen posted up at a gas station on social media, apparently ready for all the smoke. I ain't gonna lie. Man, my show is really be feeling deeper than this, but I know a nigga got a lot of shit going on. Now, it would later emerge that following this not sold out show, that Quando and his team were indeed targeted in a shooting at a convenience store near the venue, with TMZ reporting that one man in Quando's entourage was indeed wounded in the shooting, with cops believing the shooter opened fire from across the road as Quando and his crew were in a parking lot at a convenience store. Police said they're not aware of any bullets hitting Quando because he had fled the scene by the time cops arrived, but he was indeed in the parking lot before the shooting, with one man in Quando's group being shot in the hand and receiving treatment at a local hospital. With a group of black disciples, that's the same Chicago gang that Little Dirk is affiliated with, from Quando State in Georgia, seemingly taking responsibility for the shooting a few months later. With this post doing the rounds on social media, with a Georgia BD that's apparently close with Lil Dirk's OTF crew claiming the shooting, saying, 
Kwondo ain't done a show in a year, and the one he did ask him about how many shots were let off. So look, we can't say that Lil Durk yeah. was strictly involved, but it does genuinely appear as if there are people sliding for Von. So, with all this sliding for Von going on, it also makes you wonder, what are these supposed getbacks for D-Thang Lil Durk is also talking about in his songs? Well, firstly, let's take a look at this post on Reddit Shyrakology, saying, alright, so who actually killed OTF D-Thang, and did OTF get back for that kill? There's a comment down here that says, the man from Chicago on here said a set named Dump Street killed D-Thang, and two members of that gang set died from Dump Street after D-Thang's death. And apparently OTF members posted pictures of D-Thang on their social media after these two supposed Dump Street members were killed. Here's another Reddit post with another interesting comment. Anybody else find out who killed D-Thang? Or at least what hood they were from? This post said it was Dump Street and I believe they got back for him the following week. Two Dump Street members were killed at a gas station. The next day Dirk posted D-Thang with ESDG's Lick Back song in the background implying Damn. that they got back. They're actually referring to this post that Lil Dirk put on his Insta story in July 2021. The month after D Thang was killed. With the Reddit post reposting this image from Lil Durk's social media, saying, So the theory is that the two guys killed at the gas station was get back for D Thang. And it appears mm. that they're actually referring to this killing. Two men fatally shot outside of a West Inglewood gas station. According to Chicago Police, two men were shot and killed in the parking lot of a West Inglewood gas station on Saturday afternoon, with the two victims found at the gas station on the 6100 block of South Ashland Avenue at approximately 3 pm when a dark colored vehicle pulled up and an unknown person inside the vehicle fired shots striking both victims. One victim, a 33-year-old man, was shot in the chest and transported to the University of Chicago Medical Center where he was pronounced dead, and the second man, who was 20 years old, died at the scene. No arrests have been yeah. made. Now, there's also been a lot of speculation in these comments that the people that lost their lives were actually just friends or affiliates of D-Thang's killers, with this seemingly referenced in Lil Durk's own lyrics where he says, on the track pissed me off. If you can't get the but, main one... But still, but still, on God, with that, that yeah. what he was saying right there, it still, it still don't matter because them niggas got niggas and family and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? With this seemingly reference so to Lil Durk's own lyrics where he says, they get on the track pissed me off. If you can't get the main one, then you better get his guys. But to make things even more scary, Damn. apparently there's also an alternate ending to the track pissed me off, which I probably can't play you on YouTube because of copyright issues, where Dirk basically says that nobody hears about his getbacks because people don't know about it, and that you can find it out on the news rather than his songs. In addition mm. to that, a lot of other people have pointed out that further social media posts that circulate see Lil Durk suggesting that getback has been gotten like this post with a diamond encrusted D-Thang piece on top of a pile of cash and the caption standing and stood on business for you broski long live D. And just in case things weren't obvious enough. Going back to Lil Durk's lyrics on the remix of Nardo Wicks Who Wants Smoke where Dirk said got it back in blood y'all just don't know. He seems to link his get back to that earlier shooting at a gas station with the lyric better do what Nardo says cause dude will die for pumping Damn. gas. The apparent Damn. get back happened at a gas station and Lil Durk is literally on tracks here you know saying people to that. It's honestly hard not to take you it. You know how many times we done wrapped that part? Right. And now, nigga, damn. The apparent get back happened at a gas station and Lil Durk is literally on tracks here saying people die pumping gas. It's honestly hard not to take all of this in and think, you know what, damn. let's just leave Lil Durk alone. Because I'm not sure mocking for him for not sliding is such a good idea after all. So if I was 6'9", I'd probably just keep my little cheese goblin mouth shut and leave Lil Durk alone because you know what, I'm actually not sure he's the one for these shenanigans, frankly. But listen, guys this is just my opinion this is just a little bit of reddit conjecture no one's been convicted no definitive sources say that these incidents are connected or strictly get backs and i'll tell you what if there's one thing that lil Durk is truly a talent at it's making music and talking about that gangster stuff but there is absolutely no strict evidence that he was involved in any crimes but what do you think let me know down in the comments should we all be scared for lil Durk? should six nine be scared of dissing lil Durk? or is this just a bunch of internet rubbish that should stay on reddit and out of my mouth i don't don't know let me know what you think i hope you enjoyed that breakdown if you this did nigga leave a like, out of your subscribe mouth subscribe to nigga, the channel didn't. comment down below talk for damn that 13 minutes about it nigga it's damn their raps now damn that shit wow i wasn't expecting that shit yeah. i didn't know about that shit wow he just isn't like posting it trying to make it obvious but he's saying that shit and now putting that shit together that shit wow yeah Man, make sure y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button. Other videos y'all want us to check out, make sure y'all comment down below and let us know because these videos be crazy as hell, man. Catch y'all next time.